can we enjoy ourselves while what's going on is going on? Some of our soldiers there, they won't be having a happy Christmas, will they? Yeah. Cover, cover! Easy, easy! What about the people in this place called Iraq, Afghanistan, Palestine, Lebanon? What about these countries? Ha was an English protester and peace campaigner. On June 2nd, 2001, he began a one-man political protest against war, UK, and US foreign policy. Even though he suffered various prosecutions and legal actions, Brian maintained a vigil outside London's parliament in order to protest the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Ha justified his campaign on a need to improve his children's future. Becoming an annoyance to some politicians and a stopping point for tour guide, he faced various prosecutions and legal actions, and yet stood his ground, and was a symbol against war. Being an avid smoker, Ha was diagnosed with lung cancer in September 2010, and thus passed away on June 18, 2011. He is survived by his seven children the very future of whom started Brian's protest. Many describe Brian as an unsung hero who although has passed away, his memory remains and so do his followers, which are continuing Brian Hall's campaign and his beliefs. Wow, this campaign has maybe just not from the Brian Hall campaign 11 years, and we continue to do this campaign. Why? We are telling the truth about what's going on in Iraq and Afghanistan and Palestine and we thought change I mean happening in this government where they don't launch any more war of aggression. Very simple. And Brown he was saying stop killing the kids. Well I mean do you think that by sitting out here it's going to get anything accomplished? I've asked I mean the Arab revolutions, I mean they will tell you about it. You have to learn people, I mean, yes. We could, I mean, change things, and we are trying to do our best. Uh, I'll show it here, picture. Who are these belongings for? Who are they for? Sorry, I mean, I'll just tell you. Oh. This is Barbara Tucker. Been six years in the campaign. Mm -hmm. And since Brian passed away, I mean, 11 months, she's the one keeping most of the campaign. She's 24 hours in this campaign uh -huh. and the government have just passed a law where they're trying to get rid of this campaign through banning I mean people sleeping in this place so they thought I mean if they ban I mean uh, tents people they will give up and they will go home but she's resilient she believe in what she's doing and she has to continue even if it cost her I mean much of her health she's been 120 nights she's sleeping literally in a chair and recently, the, the what you call the police, they came and stole umbrella, big umbrella. So because even if they took, I mean, what you call it, they stole everything in the 16th mm -hmm. of June, four tenths from the campaign. Still, they are coming and stealing even blankets. I mean, they don't want any sleeping things within this area. So they come and steal your blankets. Well. Yeah, and then they can't take us to persecute us. So it's like giving away. I mean, for them, I mean to grab things and that's what they do. Based uh, on what law can they do this? Sorry? Under the, what you call police reform, it's 2011 I think act. So new legislation uh, only concerned this area, Parliament Square, 